Yeah. Taking I was thinking maybe well, try though. to trade the knights. Mm -hmm. Taking away that f5 square, though, on the other hand, and after g5, g4, uh, if you go for knight uh, d6. Oh, what? Ooh. Whoa. Wow. Wait, the f4 pawn really? is not hanging? What's going on? Whoa, f4... whoa, whoa, whoa. F4 pawn. Whoa. It's hanging, right? No way! You, you can also take this knight if you really want to. Yes. We oh my god, he blundered! He forgot to play g5. I think the knight is but, way more important here. If yeah, I may yeah, interrupt, yeah. even uh -huh, go ahead. Uh, just really quickly, isn't queen takes f4 also good? I mean, why on earth would you allow any of this? And he's already taken. Look, his hand wow. was shaking. He almost. Did you see how he took the knight? His hand was shaking. He almost dropped the rook there. And we saw it on the screen. Double exclamation mark move. A <laughs> winning, brilliant move. Uh, unexpected as well. And. Ding, he's on fire right now. He's back in the zone. He's playing every move instantly, not doubting, not second guessing himself. Once that white knight comes in, it's going to be game over. That black queen sideline. I have one question. So, besides knight b3 being missed, obviously, because now it's still completely dead lost, there's nothing to talk about. Knight x d4, knight c6, it's all over. Isn't this just strategically bad, even if Jan didn't see knight b3? Suppose you can, I go queen d3 and knight f3. Is that also not just very bad? So, this is a, this is a positional blunder a tactical blunder and it feels like a deja vu because this was what was happening